This tutorial is about the Mechanism Version 10 Fusion Reactor. First, you're going to need some pressurized tubes for the fuel. You're going to need fusion reactor frames, a fusion reactor controller, some fusion reactor ports, a laser focus matrix, a few laser amplifiers, some lasers, a whole ROM, and some reactor glass. Here's how you build it. For the sides, I like to put my ports. And in the top, you put the controller. On whichever side is the front, you put the focusing matrix, and then your ports. And there you go, it works. You can replace parts like this with the reactor glass. Now, once the reactor is built, you'll require lasers and amplifiers to start the reaction. Configure the last amplifier in the line to be redstone sensitive. Use a lever to toggle its input on or off. You're going to allow it internally to charge up to around 800 before you discharge it. You will also need to supply the reactor with fuel. On the one side, you're going to pipe in deuterium, and then you're also going to pipe in tritium. The last port will be used to output the power. Remember, you can use a configurator to change your ports. Next, you're going to need the whole ROM, and you're going to insert it into a chemical infuser supplied with deuterium and tritium. After that, it'll be charged up. Take your charged whole ROM and bring it to the reactor. You'll insert it into the empty space when you click on the control panel. This tab is going to show your reactor's heat. And this is going to be power reserves. These two are for coolant, but they're optional. The fuel tab is going to show you your available fuel and your injection rate. You're going to edit the injection rate here. You need to do that, otherwise the reaction won't start. And then this is also going to show you statistics about the reactor. These values change based on the injection rate you have provided. After all of that is done, you go over here, your amplifier charges up, and then you throw the lever. And with that, that scary thing on the inside shows you that your reactor is started. Once the reactor is started, it will start consuming fuel and it will start trying to hit its target temperature. And then it's also going to start producing power. Right now, I'm piping the power out into the induction matrix. Normally, if you don't have anything connected, you'll see the power start to fill up very quickly in the reactor. And with that, it's finished. That's it. Thank you for watching.